Hey guys, back on here to show you how to add the plugin Remote Joy Light version 0.19. So you need to go to the description, download the plugin. There's also going to be this as well to download. You need to install this on your computer first. So just download and install that one. This is a tutorial how to add it, add the plugin to your PSP. So I'm not going to show you how to install the driver. It's pretty simple. Just download it, open it up, run it like you would a normal application. Once you have that and you got this, you got everything installed, you'll end up with this right on your P PC. So we'll close that. So yeah, go download both those files. Once you get the first one downloaded and installed on your computer, and you have Remote Joy Lite now downloaded, first step is SC Plugins. You want to have your PSP connected with the USB in USB mode. Have either an extra window ready or on the side in your folders which I usually do. Just have to connect to the USB. There's mine right there. Memory stick. And there we have SE plugins inside my memory stick. So in that file that you downloaded, you can see inside the .prx, that goes inside SE Plugins, which you can see right here. You see game text. If you don't have a game.txt in your SE Plugins, just drag and drop that one into your SE Plugins. And exact same with VSH. If you don't have it, drag and drop it in there. If you have VSH text, and game text, just open it up, copy from inside what you downloaded, go back to your VSH and game text, and you can see I've already pasted mine inside Remote Joy Lite inside the game text and VSH text on the PSP. SE plugins folder. So once you have all those three inside your PSP, you can close that, go down to your PSP, exit USB mode. We have added a new plugin to your PSP custom firmware so you have to go all the way off hold the off switch till it's off hold the R trigger turn it back on into recovery menu go down to plugins you see we have remote joy as make sure it's enabled like mine is and remote joy for the game folder. Make sure they're both enabled. Back. Exit. Once you have that done. PlayStation Portable. You've got your PSP back at the XMB. Back up to the PC, just get mine ready.
inside the folder that you downloaded for Remote Joy Lite. inside you see this double click that and your window shall pop up and there you go you now can watch Record with Remote Joy. You can use Remote Joy to record. I haven't done it, but you can. You can record it now with a screen capture software. You can use your webcam in YouTube, quick capture if you wanted to. But there you go. You now have Remote Joy on your PSP custom firmware. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe.